what's up YouTube welcome back to another video here on the channel and today I'm gonna talk about the new Mandalorian movie that just got announced among other things I will burn this planet down before I spend another minute living among these animals but let's stick with the Mandalorian for now so the Mandalorian just got a new movie announced it's called the Mandalorian and Grogu hmm I think this is going to be interesting. I can't wait to see it because the Mandalorian is what kicked off, you know, this whole uh, renaissance of Star Wars, you could say, after the sequel trilogy was slaughtered. But anyway, let's uh, read the website. Uh, this is the official Star Wars website, uh, The Mandalorian and Grogu, the announcement. The Mandalorian and Grogu journeys to the big screen. The Mandalorian and Grogu are embarking on a new adventure to movie theaters. It's about damn time. Directed by John Favreau and produced by Favreau, Kathleen Kennedy, and Dave Filoni, The Mandalorian and Grogu will go into production 2024. Uh, John Favreau, the legend, of course. Dave Filoni, the legend, of course. Um, some people are upset about Kathleen Kennedy being one of the producers, but... She's literally a producer on dang near every modern Star Wars film project. So, come on now. That one's a given. I have loved telling stories set in the rich world that George Lucas created, said Favreau. The prospect of bringing the Mandalorian and his apprentice Grogu to the big screen is extremely exciting. Yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting seeing these two characters come to the big screen. You love to see it when the TV shows tie into the movies. Hopefully it'll be better than when, you know, the Marvel TV shows tie into the movies. But I have faith in this. I think it's going to be decent. John Favreau and Dave Filoni have ushered into Star Wars two new beloved characters. And this new story is a perfect fit for the big screen, added Kathleen Kennedy, president of Lucasfilm. I mean, she's right. Kathleen Kennedy is right. These two characters... They're a good fit for the big screen, and it's surprising that it took this long for them to come to the big screen. I would have thought that maybe after season two, it would be it would come to the big screen, but apparently that's not the case. Season three was kind of mid, but I don't think it killed any momentum for these characters. I'm very excited to see um, where we're going to go with this. The Mandalorian and Grogu will lead Lucasfilm's ongoing feature development slate, including films helmed by Charmaine Obey Chinoy. Ugh. We'll get we'll get to her in a minute. Uh, James Mangold and Dave Filoni, who is currently developing Ahsoka season two, among these in the works. This is the way. Yes, this is the way. So I can't wait. It's it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be good. Uh, I think so. I have more hope for this than I do the new Ray movie, because the new Ray movie I think is going to be a huge dumpster fire. I can smell it now. If they keep going in the direction that they're going, it's going to be a dumpster fire, guaranteed. Let's take a look at this video of her, and let's let's analyze how she feels about certain things. Thing at the heart of everything, I am a storyteller and an activist, and um, my body of work over the last 20 years has been uh, guided by my activism. And ah, so her last her body of work has been guided by her activism. Hmm. I really hope Star Wars isn't going to be included in within her activism because that's not the, the type of thing that I like to see in Star Wars. Let's keep going. Every single piece of work that I've ever created has a piece of activism in it. Uh oh. Every single piece of work that she's created has had activism in it. I think that's pretty telling uh, of what's going to be in this new Star Wars movie. There's going to be a lot of activism in it. No doubt. No doubt. It could be very overt or it could be covert, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty overt. I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty obvious to everyone who keeps their eyes open during the movie. But it is there. And I think that as a storyteller, uh, I'm not sure if all of you know this, but I'm not a trained filmmaker. Not a trained filmmaker. Uh oh, uh, that now that is definitely not good because we we looked 
we looked at her uh, her Wikipedia page, and she's an uh, an activist and a journalist more than she is a filmmaker. So take take that as you will. So I never went to film school. Um, I went to um, Smith College and did my undergraduate and studied economics and political science like a good Pakistani girl. <laughs> and then, um, and then um, I, I did my graduate uh, um, studies, but also in international politics. And so I am an accidental filmmaker. Accidental filmmaker. Focus on politics. I mean, it's not like films can't be about politics. Some some of the best films ever made are very politically driven, but not really Star Wars though. Like Star Wars is more universal. I feel like Star Wars can make anybody feel good. Anyone can enjoy it. I think man or woman. Um, and I don't have I don't have a problem with a woman directing Star Wars, a Star Wars movie. Women have directed Star Wars TV shows. Uh, it's not a big deal for me. What's more a big deal for me is the whole political aspect of it. I don't like gender politics in Star Wars. I don't think it's a good fit. And uh, I'll leave it there. But anyway, what do I want to see in this new Mandalorian and Grogu movie? I think, number one, we need a new villain. As much as I love Moff Gideon... He, he sort of became overplayed in season three. I think in season three, he lost a lot of his luster. I mean, he can still appear in the movie, but eh, I think we need a new, a new big, big bad. It could be Thrawn, but Thrawn doesn't really have force powers or anything like that. So maybe they could bring back Darth Maul, who hasn't really appeared since his cameo in Solo, A Star Wars Story. They never really they never really went anywhere with Darth Maul. So I'm excited to see who they who they put in the new role for the main villain for this movie. But whoever it is, I kind of hope it's somebody new or it's Snoke. Yeah, that's who I'm going to say. I hope it's Snoke. I hope we see some, some we finally get to see some Snoke action that we never got to see in the shitty ass sequel trilogy. That would be more interesting than anything. If you're a longtime viewer of this channel, you know what my agenda is. My agenda is to see Snoke kick some ass and make the sequel trilogy feel like it was worth a damn at all. We need the sequel trilogy to feel like it belongs and not feel like just a side project. Because right now, that's all the sequel trilogy feels like. It feels like a side project that most Star Wars fans don't even like, despite its good reviews on rotten tomatoes but that's all for now are you guys glad that obey chinoy is not directing this new mandalorian movie because i sure am um leave what you think about this new movie in the comments below um i'll probably read it and give you a response share this video if you can that would really help out the channel i really need people to share my videos and like and comment on literally every single one I'm trying to get my videos out there. I want to be as big as like a Star Wars theory or something. So yeah, like this video, subscribe, all that, leave a comment. Uh, have a good one. Until next time. Bye.